Hi everybody, it's Nick Sober with Creative College Prep, and I'm here with Amy Mitchell, the Associate Director of Admissions for Emerson College in Boston. Hi, Amy. Hi, how are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Doing well, thanks. Good. Thanks for being here. Amy, tell us a little bit about Emerson, and what is it that you find most exciting about what's going on there these days? Sure. Um, so Emerson is a, the best way I always describe it to students is it's a small quirky place. I think quirky is definitely something that identifies Emerson totally and Emerson agree. students. Um, we have about 3,300 students, so it's a smaller school, but we're in the heart of Boston. So they get that city living. It's an urban campus, but a small urban campus. So 12 buildings in a two block walking radius. I always tell students, if you picked us up and put us inside of a traditional college campus, we're probably an eighth of the size but still urban. Um, and that creates a really strong family night like environment. What I love about what we do is we all, we focus solely on the arts and communications as far as our majors go. So we are still a liberal arts program. We believe strongly that students need to understand math, science, English, history to do anything well in life. But all of our majors are gonna be those arts and communication style focused majors. Um, in particular, we are probably most well known for film and theater, probably our strongest areas of where students really kind of identify with us. Um, very strong in communications, journalism, um, anything in that sort of realm. I'm most excited about some of our new majors that we have. Um, we, uh, this one is, it's been around a year now, but our BFA in comedy is the only one in the country. Um, it is really incredible and has garnered a ton of interest and a ton of publicity. Um, but what I love about it is it sort of reflects Emerson's mission, um, where we are training students to be comedians, to do performance, but also to write very well, mm -hmm. um, to understand some comedic history. So it really is that sort of perfect trifecta of knowledge that they're getting. Um, we also have a new business major, which is the business of creative enterprises, so that it's specifically designed for arts and creative students to study um, their art form alongside the business end of it. So if you wanted to run a theater company, if you wanted to open a recording studio, anything in that more business realm in that creative art form, then we have two more new majors coming up, um, which I'm super excited about, sports communication. So anybody who wants to be a sports broadcaster, we've always had students doing that, but now it's an actual major and they're going to be a big bulk of that will be internships. Um, and then we've divided our creative writing program a little bit. Um, our creative writing program has always been a creative writing and publishing program. And that sort of second half, that piece of the publishing is really important to us. We have Plowshares Literary Magazine on our campus. Um, which is the number two literary magazine in the country. The only one above it is the New Yorker. And so they're getting that sort of publishing experience. But this year we are um, going to still have that, but also have the opportunity for students to just do the creative writing side if they want. Amazing. And so super excited about that. Yeah. yeah, that's so many great opportunities. Oh, so much. So when you are diving into those applications, what do you find, what kinds of things do you find yourself looking out for that really helps to set apart somebody who's right for Emerson? Um, it, we are very holistic. I know every, we all throw around the word holistic, but we are truly holistic at our review process. Um, we are, I think partly I always tell students to think about it in this way, we're small. So each student that we're choosing to bring on to our campus is going to add or hopefully not detract, but something to that campus body. And so we are being really careful and thinking about everything about the student. Mm -hmm. um, I say in particular for the majors that we offer, students really need to be self-motivated. We need to see that they have an interest in doing what they want to major in outside of their, their high school sort of courses. That doesn't mean that I expect, you know, I, I recognize a theater student may go to a high school where there are no real theater opportunities. I, I actually just met with a student who wants to study musical theater who's at a not very creative high school, so the best she can do is choir. But she's doing all the choir um, options available to her, but more importantly, she's doing things on her own. And so even if it's sitting in her room singing to herself, she's that's a muscle she's continually exercising. Right. So I really think if they can, you know, set out that self-motivated and, you know, that, that passion for what they want to study, that makes a difference. Great. Wonderful. And I know that you have been, you've been working this job for a while, not necessarily to Emerson, but, but um, you've been doing it for, for a time. What is your favorite story from your time working in admissions? I, I actually, I think it's, I think it actually is at Emerson and maybe it's just because it's recent, mm -hmm. but um, you know, I spend so much time, you know, um, 
talking about college and in high schools that I happened to be on campus. I believe it was my, I think it was my first week actually training at Emerson. And the first thing I noticed that I was like, what is going on here? One is everybody wears purple all the time and there's a lot of purple hair. And I was like, what is happening? And having worked for so many years in the arts world, I wasn't used to that sort of community spirit in the sense, you know, most art schools, I, you know, the school I worked at before for so long didn't even have school colors. So that, that was like, okay, this is a little bit interesting. This is actually kind of a long story, but I'll try. <laughs> so I thought, okay, this is, this is interesting. Um, and then I happened to be walking outside and it, it happened to be at the same time that move-in was happening. And I walked into one of our buildings. We have five res the fifth residence center is coming, but we have four right now. Mm -hmm. And for move-in, students that have, you know, upperclassmen were helping the freshmen move in and they would announce the, the student's name and everybody would cheer and clap and throw glitter on them. And I thought, what a welcoming kind of environment to come into as a first year who's terrified. Um, and, and that was sort of neat. And then glitter is very much a thing at Emerson for Flynn Glitter. <laughs> so then I happened to go grab coffee at the Starbucks around the corner on our campus and two students came running in and threw glitter on someone sitting down drinking their coffee. And of course they were wearing purple. So I was like, okay, those are Emerson students. And I asked the person next to me, what's going on? And they said, oh, well, that student just got accepted into the fraternity. <laughs> I thought fraternities at Emerson, now it makes sense. <laughs> so about 10% like magic are, artist hazing. Right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And it just so encompassed that spirit and the family-like environment. And I just thought, okay, this is the place I should be working for, so. Gosh, that's wonderful. Last question that I have for you for, for the day is what advice, encouragement, or words of caution do you have for families who are getting ready to go through the application process? So start early is definitely number one. Start early, be thoughtful about the process. Um, I think this piece of advice always surprises people, but I would say slow down a little bit. I think that this year, especially this last year, moves so incredibly quickly. And there's so much pressure. You're just doing deadlines or taking tests. You're worried about your grades. But mm -hmm. you sort of forget to slow down and enjoy the process. Enjoy time with your family because you're going to be moving away and won't be spending time with them. You'll, you'll spend time with them, but not as much time with them over the next four years. So I say kind of slow down and, and, and you will be stressed, but decompress a little bit and really try to enjoy the time and be thoughtful. Um, don't wait until deadlines are due. Do things early so that you can be a little more relaxed and enjoy the time. Mm -hmm. Gosh. <laughs> Great advice for making the most out of it. Uh, yeah. Amy, thank you so much for, for spending the time and telling us about it. I'm so glad we got a chance to hear from you and hear about Emerson. What are some of the best ways for families who are curious to learn more? Sure. Um, Obviously, go to our website, emerson.edu, but I also always tell my families the great thing about having me regionally based out here in California is I'm your human being. There is a human on the end of the process, and it's me. So don't be scared of reaching out to me. Um, email is usually easier. I travel so much, um, and that is amy underscore Mitchell at emerson.edu. Um, also, sign up for our mailing list on our website. We are going to do six information sessions in California in October, and that will get you that access to that information so you can learn quite a bit more without having to come to Boston, though we would love to see you there at some point, too. Fantastic. And we'll, we have all that information up where families can see it. And with that, we are going to wrap things up. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, and come back soon on more on how to get creative on your path to college. Thanks again, Amy.